Hey viewers, hope you're well. I'm just going to do a video today just on power usage of my inverter. How much power it takes to boil a kettle. I'll just show you what a jug uses running on an inverter. Sorry about being dark, but yeah, it is very, it's just a gloomy day. So I've got a 3000 watt inverter in the van, okay? Now, people buy inverters but they don't tell you how much power they use. So now this video, I'm gonna show you the power consumption of the inverter. Let's say for instance, a jug. Now this draws a lot of power. Okay, so this jug is 2100 watts. Okay, so I filled it up to maximum 1.7 liters. You can get jugs that are 2400 watts. I have seen them at 1800 watts. The one in the back of my Pajero is only 950 watts. Okay, I've got 279 amp hours on the clock. So I will subtract from that. I don't have a counter on this monitor to show you exact power usage, but I can give you approximate. Okay, I'll turn the inverter on. Now with the inverter on, that's the power usage just with the inverter sitting there doing nothing. So about 1.2 amps. Okay, I'm gonna turn the jug on. This is cold water. Okay, there we have 167 amps drawing the battery. So far we've used three amp hours. I'll come back when this is boiled and I'll show you how much power this inverter and jug use to boil 1.7 liters of water. Now this is just cold water. They say, you know, take, take your coffee machine with your camping, take your hairdryer with your camping, take take your microwave with your camping you can do this camping but the thing is they don't tell you how much power that thing uses guys believe me these things use an incredible amount of power when you start boiling jugs microwaves they're a big power eater toasters anything that creates heat really really burns the power air conditioners they will suck the power Heaters, they suck the power. So there's my inverter there. Now I have, I have two zero gauge cables, because really, realistically I needed a triple zero gauge wiring for this inverter. I just couldn't get hold of it. So I just used two zero gauge cables. So I've got two zero gauge running to each terminal. I've got a zero gauge there, zero gauge there running in two this is a 300 amp mega fuse if you can see that now these are not even getting hot then they're not even it's not even hot the cables are not even warm so they're quite sufficient to run this inverter okay we've just boiled the jug it took about five minutes five six minutes to boil the jug so approximately 13 amp hours to boil 1.7 litres of water with a 2.1 kilowatt jug. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching. See ya.